Nathan Gregory, owner of a small traveling carnival show, was once a famous war flyer known as the Eagle. Mysterious threats signed with the name of the Eagle have been received by the directors of a big corporation, manufacturers of an invention which Gregory claims was stolen from him. The directors, convinced that Gregory is the author of the blackmailing threats, have gone to the carnival grounds in search of him, and a fight has started. Craig McCoy, stunt flyer with the carnival, has aided Gregory to escape, and Gregory's daughter, Jean, sees her father running across the flying field toward McCoy's airplane. What's the matter, Jean? Has your father gone mad? But it isn't Daddy, Craig. Someone disguises him. Are you hurt? Oh, I twisted my knee when I fell. Look, Craig. What does it mean? The tents will take fire. We've got to help. Oh, I can't walk, Craig. Look! He's headed this way. You're right, Gene. That couldn't have been your father. He wouldn't have tried to run us down. Oh, he wouldn't have tried to burn the carnival. Let's go and help put out the fire. I think I'll be able to walk now. crimes on him. The Eagle? Who is the Eagle? Well, it must be one of those directors. But we can't prove anything. I'm not so sure we can't prove it. That unsigned note I received. Maybe we can trace that to its source. How can you, Craig? Come along, Billy. We've got a lot of work to do. Okay, Craig. Where are you going? To the factory. You mugs notice who always gets called on when there's something important to do.
over there. What do you want? What was that? A shot. A shot. What were you shooting at, Jane? Somebody pinned this note on my tent. Let's read it and see what it says. Are you sure it's your father's writing? There's something phony about this. The skipper ain't yellow. Why, he'd, he'd never cry quits. Nice work, Billy. What I'm looking for isn't here, that's certain. Now, you stand guard in case anyone comes, and I'll search the other rooms. Okay, Craig. I don't know what to do, whether to follow these orders or not. That's funny. What do you suppose all these pinholes are in the paper for? Looks like it's been hit by a birdshot. Look. There's one under the T. And look, another under the O. F-O-R-O-N-E. Wait a minute. You're spelling words. It's a message. Look. W-A-T-E-R-S-T. -E that might be street. It is. 41 Water Street. H E L P Q U I C K. Don't you see? Someone made him write it and he took this way to let us know where he is. That's it? I knew the skipper wasn't yellow. Come on, let's get going. Oh, but we can't all go. Heidi and I will be enough. You've got to stay here to open the show if we don't get back in time. We're going what I was after. What is it? It's a death calendar and it's. It's a director. You stay in the next room, and if I need help, go for it. You bet. I don't know why we came here. There's nothing that we can do. Well, we'll have to decide on our next move. Oh, no, you don't. One thing you can do is listen while I tell you who the man is behind all this mystery. Well, if you can do that, you're most welcome here. If you don't, it may go hard with you. Who is it? It's one of you gentlemen. Nonsense. Why should one of us be threatening the other? The man that's threatening you wants to get control of your company. He's throwing suspicion on Mr. Gregory to cover up his own tracks. And I can prove it. You all know that I wrote a message on the sky. Well, here are the instructions I received, unsigned. And this paper was torn off of that desk calendar. And the edges match perfectly. You'll see for yourself. It's true. They match exactly. Gentlemen, I resign. I can't afford to be connected with an organization that is founded on crime. I'm through. You're not through, Ward. As far as we know, you may be the eagle yourself. Why? I'm sorry, Ward, but get this. We got into this mess together, and we're all going to see it through. Innocent men don't run. Well, now, just a minute. Whose office did you find this in? I don't know whose it is. The pad was in that room. Why, that's Clark's office. Why, Clark couldn't have been the Eagle. The Eagle killed Clark right here in this room last night. Are you sure that Clark was killed? By George, we're not sure. Well, we saw him right there on the floor. Yes, but when we came back from searching the corridor, the body was gone. You mean it may have been a trick to throw us off the trail? Why not? It wasn't a trick. There's a blood spot where he fell. Are you sure that's blood?
Well, what does it look like? Well, that isn't blood. It's iodine. Iodine? Here, let me see. See if the bottle's still in the washroom. Why, it's Clark! Is he dead? No, but he's unconscious. Somebody get some water and try to bring him to. Gregory, how are we going to make him talk? Wait till he comes to. He's come to if you want to talk to him. Now we'll find out what the eagle wants to know. Now you won't talk, eh? Hand me that persuader. You heard me. Okay, boss. Just a second. Go ahead. Okay, I got you. McCoy's at the factory, and he's getting too close to the truth. Well, what are we going to do? Throw a wrench into the machinery. Well, if you didn't write this, how does it happen that McCoy proved that it came off your own desk pad? Well, uh, because he wrote it himself. What? Wrote it himself? Yes. When I came to last night, I was lying on the floor in my office. And he was bending over the desk, writing on the pad. Well, that's a lie. Oh, here, wait a minute. It was he that tied me up and put me in the closet. Yeah? Your little... Wait a minute. Your little trick didn't work, McCoy. We were right all along. Gregory is the eagle, and Mr. McCoy is working with him. Hello? You stand in the shadow of the eagle. Unless McCoy walks out of the factory a free man, one or all of you will suffer the consequences. It's the eagle demanding McCoy's release. How could he know that we had him? Shh. Get away from that phone. Get away from that phone, I tell you, or I'll shoot. It's a woman's voice now. Hello. 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 Whoever you are, come quick. I've got the eagle. Who are you? I'm Jean Gregory. They're holding my father prisoner. Yes, I'm Jean Gregory. Three of them. They had my father prisoner. But I've got the drop on them. Help! Come quick! 241 Water Street! Hello, Dalton. The knob broke off. I can't get a good hold of it. Yeah, let me get at it. Hello. They've turned the tables on us. Quick, we've no time to lose. You're not going anywhere. 
It's a trick of the Eagles to get McCoy out. It's not a trick, I tell you. Gene's life may be at stake. Look! The shadow of the Eagle. Come on, Billy, we got one chance to save Gene. There he goes. We can beat him to the yard by the fence. Come on. Duck low, Billy. We're going to have to crash that gate. Time to turn back, beating we're on the block. Thank <laughs> you. 